Within our consulting projects, we support clients in chemicals and life science industries in all regions of the world, including Europe, the United States, Middle East and China. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on global chemical industry, how we could prepare for getting back to a kind of normal, and most of all, on consequences we might be facing as lasting impact. Chemical companies are concerned differently. Some are now realizing how much of their products are critical to keep stable global supplies of ingredients, even commodities in the health sector, pharmaceuticals, agro-industry, as well as human and animal nutrition. Many of those companies have managed to keep their productions up and running. Some are facing limited failures in the supply chain, especially with regards to pre-products coming from China. Other chemical companies are significantly depending on other sectors that observe a high decline of demand, for example, the automotive industry and its suppliers. Many of those companies had to react with selected shutdowns of their production plants. Some had to do so in multiple regions and are facing tremendous challenges to safeguard their own supplier network as well as their own staff. Smaller chemical companies are even facing financial issues. As for the vast majority of chemical companies, the supercritical survival mode has been organized very quickly and effectively. Preoccupying question is now how and when to get back to a kind of normal. In many cases, management consultants like us get involved to start the learning process, helping to build further robust processes and organizations. First question is, when will we be returning to a kind of normal? Obviously, no one can give a clear statement here, as this, this is depending on how good we are all in flattening the curve of the corona incidence. With regards to the economy, most professionals expect a strong U-curve, which means that recovery will only come after a sidewards movement. In practical terms, this means that we will be facing a recession this year on global level. But it is very clear that chemical industries will be frontrunners in starting all, all over again. The simple reason is the criticality and systemic relevance of chemical production within the global supply chain. Given the complexity and stronger interconnection of the chemical supply chain, the return to normal will be take most probably several months. Why does this take that long? At the end of the day, it is not only about increasing the production, it is also about increasing the demand again. Producers and suppliers of chemicals will have to balance their risks on the demand and supply side versus an increase of inventories. Very probably, many companies will be ready to produce on stock to be in a better position as soon as an uptake of demand will follow. Tax authorities can help to reduce financial burden for those companies taking risks in the next month. Again, in practical terms, production capacities will increase step by step. But some plants that might have shown limited economical viability will never start operations again. World-scale plants that are expected close to starting operations even put major pressure on pricing. With regards to product pricing, we expect a strong discussion about rebates and discounts even in such areas where prices and volumes are set per multiple year contracts. This requires chemical companies to even further develop their instruments to do product costing and to evaluate individual pricing flexibilities. Size matters, even in these times. Some small companies might get absorbed by global players. Others might help their strong innovation power and uniqueness within their product portfolio. Another question is what the world of chemical industries will be looking like after we consider the pandemic as solved. If I may place a bet, the world of chemical production will never be the same again. Why are we saying so? As every one of us personally will confirm that we want to avoid a global lockdown for whatever matters in the future, the responsible managers for chemical companies will very much confirm the same. In certain areas, the global supply chain has proven vulnerable. Identifying, mitigating and eliminating risks along the global supply chain will receive major attraction in the future. For some segments, we might learn and understand that production needs to be more diversified 
or be less dependent on single players. In selected cases, we might realize that multiple local productions or productions closer to major customers present lasting benefits as compared to the production in a single world-scale plant. We might see those benefits even though this might end up with higher prices for the customers and ultimately for all of us as the end customer. And if I may place another bet into the future, we will continue to see what the real engine of chemical industry is. That is the strong innovation power which will now put more focus on sustainability. Let us know your feedback and feel free to engage, of course, we have proven to support our clients also with remote delivery.